Hello. Um, it's December the 15th. Um, it's quite uh, been quite stormy the last couple of days here in the UK. Uh, and, and on the run up to Christmas, it gets really busy, so um, not a good uh, opportunity for getting out and about. But during the uh, during the winter, especially last winter and this winter, I tend to concentrate a little, little bit more on the amateur satellite work that I uh, started last year, and I'm continuing the amateur satellite theme throughout this winter. So uh, I just wanted to uh, make one or two videos, just going into a bit more detail about the uh, the Satnogs uh, program and uh, how that works and what interest there is in, in the satnogs for uh, radio operators. At any one time there's many hundreds of low earth orbit satellites um, ranging from one cube size to three cube size. Uh, a lot of these are run by universities, schools, uh, small uh, maker projects so their, their technology they use for communication to the satellite tends to use the amateur frequencies um, VHF and UHF for the uplink and downlink and that's because it's a lot cheaper to, to build that ability to talk to the uh, satellite and to receive data from the satellite and many of these uh, satellites also reuse that same uh, uplink and downlink for amateur radio operators to use to communicate um, but specifically for the satnogs um, we're, we're mostly interested in the uh, receiving of the da their data from the satellites as they pass over so the the satnogs program is a uh, is a global network of uh, ground stations that actively um, schedule and listen to these satellites as they pass pass over, so uh, you can uh, very easily, with some ease, build yourself a, a satellite monitoring ground station, and patch that in to this global network of uh, satellite listening stations. So my particular setup is uh, relatively simple. It runs off a Raspberry Pi two. I uh, use a uh, uh, just an azimuth azimuth rotator, so it just rotates horizontally, doesn't do the inclination, and uh, I've got a, a beam for two meters and a beam for seventy. So the the, the setup um, is pretty much reusing what equipment I have lying around anyway, and a lot of the technical knowledge that you gain from uh, getting your amateur radio license. You use a lot of that anyway for setting up uh, the receiving side of the station. To actually set up the Raspberry Pi or, or a, a Linux computer, um, the Satnogs website talks you through that, gives you um, the instructions, and there's also a, a community there to help you to overcome some issues. And because it's, a, it's an open source project, project um, your input is, is vital as well, so what you learn, share that back with the community. So the uh, <clears throat> the way that this system works is once you've um, tested your system and it is working um, as it should be, you can now patch that in to the uh, to the to the network of ground stations. And that means anybody who has uh, access. Um, to the Satnogs network can uh, program, schedule uh, recordings using your ground station. You can go to someone else's um, station and schedule um, the recording of a pass um, from, from, from someone else's station. So it's not always you about you running your own um, station. You, you're, you're setting and joining your station to a network which is fantastic because if you have a specific interest with a particular type of satellite whether that you know whether you're, you're the person that actually operates that satellite 
you can patch in to the uh, the database and <clears throat> many of the recordings and also with some satellites the satnogs um, system decodes the data as well so not only does it record the data uh, in a waterfall and audio in some cases with specific types of um, <clears throat> data modes it will uh, decode that data as well so that's so that is the usefulness of this system is that at any one time through a 24 hour period you could have almost a seamless um, tracking of these satellites so it's a, it's a, it's a fantastic um, community to be involved in uh, it'll also it'll challenge you uh, not only for in your amateur radio uh, knowledge and skills and a bit of DIY but also because it uses Linux, Python, uh, you know, it uses a number of um, programming languages. Uh, for those people who are quite new to them, it's it's quite a good project to start to learn how to uh, use small embeddable computers. So that's that's a brief intro into the Satnogs. Um, hopefully, throughout this video, I can drop in some screenshots and um, hopefully uh, over the next uh, week or two it is Christmas so I will try and put some videos together I will try to get out and about as well um, <clears throat> I've got one night planned hopefully between Christmas and New Year and um, getting back out into the Peak District but in the meantime I'll, uh, I'll create a separate, separate playlist for the Satnogs and uh, add some videos to that so uh, if you can't get out, we'll uh, we'll play with the uh, amateur satellite work. So that's it for now. Um, hopefully I'll get some more videos in the meantime. Everything's going to sleep now for the moment. So time for me to get some sleep. Bye-bye.